community in New Jersey was very, very interesting. I just ran into a friend of mine who I grew up with, and he said it best. We were like some strange United Nations experiment. I was Dominican. My upstairs neighbor was African American. My best friend was Cuban. My other best friend was Egyptian. I would stick my head out, and there would be dozens of kids. It looked like adults had been raptured to another world because it just felt like we ran the place. To make friends with people across borders and across continents, I just feel a great debt to it because those early childhood years structured a lot of my thinking and a lot of my art. The stuff that we did when we were kids, I think that those experiences have continued to reap dividends for me as a person. You know, my ability to connect, my ability to build collectives, my ability to open my space up so that there's a lot of people to come in. For example, 12 of us would all band together, pack, you know, some chips, some water, and would say, hey, let's go on a trek to Cheesequake State Park. Well, where's Cheesequake State Park? Well, we've got to cut through the landfill. We've got to find our way over the Morgan River, so we've got to actually cross the turnpike on foot. And then we've got to cut through the forest until we get to the swimming hole. We'll be back hopefully by nightfall. I mean, I'm doing this at nine years old. Because, you know, for all of the stuff that we lacked, um, for all of the marginalization, there was a kind of collective culture. This aspiration that we can come together in a profound diversity and we will make things happen. You know, a lot of scholars point out that one of the things that's occurred in the last 40 years is that we've become more alone, that we've become more atomized, more separated from sort of the, the, the sort of nourishment of collectives, of groups, of organizations. The nation as a whole seems very addicted to this concept of individuality. The concept of, you know, I dragged myself up by my bootstraps. And yet most of the forces that act against Americans, most of the sort of cruelties that Americans experience require collective action to correct them, to combat them.